Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So happy Sunday everybody. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you're still having a great weekend. Um, I am here to just do a, a, a real quick love reading for you. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Please just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, right? Don't try to force anything. Guys, the retrograde is brutal on me, okay? This retrograde is literally, it's horrible. So, um, and the readers, I've noticed, we're all kind of laughing at ourselves out here. All of us are because it's affecting our speech so bad. So I do apologize in advance for that. There's nothing I can do, okay? We're all at the mercy of retrograde right now. Um, but thank you everyone for your likes, your subscribes. Thank you um, to all of my new viewers. Hi, I'm Becca. Um, thank you so much to everybody um, for all of your support. I truly, truly mean that. All right, Divine, what do you have for my collective today? So yeah, expect some major speech issues. Okay, I'm already having difficulties here. Um, yeah, okay, somebody, oh boy. You know, lately, I swear, almost every single reading, these masculines are just falling apart. Here we have another masculine who is losing sleep at night, can't stop, they, they can't sleep, they can't eat, can't stop thinking about you. Um, they know that it's you that they want. That's just it. But they have to make a decision. They've got to take action on what it is that they want. And I feel like they're still... Um, they're still with somebody else who's very clingy because I it's the bracket guys it's the metal bracket that gets me somebody is clinging on to your person okay or they could be in some kind of like um, like a major commitment you know this person could uh, live a distance from you as well right but you're all that they can think about I feel like you're the high priestess energy. And you know, this also stands for secrets. This person can't keep it in anymore. They can't. Um, I feel like they've tried to hide it. They've tried to be in denial. They've tried to keep their back turned towards you. But you know what? They, this person's getting ready to pop. Keeping this a secret is becoming more than they can bear. Okay? Basically, more than they can bear. Um, yeah, what's this? They're feeling very guarded. They could have a lot of people asking them a bunch of questions or coming at them for making this decision, but um, they're having to stand their ground. We've got, yeah, with no regrets. I feel like if that, if this person, they know, if they make this decision, um, They've got to. They've got to treat it like they have no regrets. They really have to defend this. They know they're going to have to go up against the opinions of others. They know they're going to have to fight off friends and family in order to get the person that they actually want. They know they're really going to have to put up a fight for this. Okay, and they're in so much regret. It's almost like they just can't hide it anymore. Okay, yeah, they've got to come towards you. Collective, I feel like this is you, and this is your person on that long journey, right? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the back, in the, in the <laughs> slowest moving knight in the deck. Oh my gosh, you guys, retrograde is horrible. Um, so yeah, but you know that's the thing about retrograde too, right? These people from the past are now coming forward. Okay. Um, and just as you're leaving the scene, you're, you're outie. I feel like you're closing out a cycle collective. You haven't spoken to this person. They haven't spoken to you. Um, and you're leveling up in your life right now. I feel like you've healed enough to move forward here. And you're stepping into a new cycle that's going to be really abundant for you. This person does see you as their world. Okay. They do see you as their world. And they, they know they're going to have to really defend this. They know they're going to be going up against the opinions of others. And I feel like that's part of what keeps them up all night is that fear. 
you know, they're going to have to find the strength to keep defending this connection. Because there's people I feel in there, you know, whoever's clinging on to them, there's friends, there's family members attached. And they're going to get a lot of opinions being shot at them. But here's the thing, they want to they start a new journey. They've been investing into something here um, for up to six or seven years that is just not working out. It's just not. They, they don't love whoever they're with. They're, there's no love there. Um, really this person is only staying there out of obligation, I feel. I feel it's obligation. Um, and they know they're going to have to walk away from years of an investment here. It could be walking away from a big chunk of money, a property, a business, um, or just all the time wasted, right? Because you're the one that they actually want to be with. They know they stood on this for far too long. They wasted a lot of time in their life that they really can't get back now. You know what I'm saying? It didn't have to go this far. And now your person, um, they, they really want something new. They, they want to come towards you. It's the end of a cycle here. Do they even have time? Do they have, will you give them a chance, right? Um, yeah, because they don't want to let you go. They just don't want to let you go. And you're leaving the scene. They can feel that disconnect. I feel like they've been watching you too, and they, they know that you're moving forward with your life. I feel like, um, honestly, this, this can stand for procrastination. This can stand for no communication. I feel it's both. But what I'm seeing here is your you've cut this person out. I feel like you've made a decision. Um, I feel like you're guarding your heart. I feel like you don't think you can trust this person because, you know, to an emperor, having that arrogance and having that ego, it appears to be their strength. But I feel like to a person like you, collective, to you, that made them actually end up looking like a fool. Okay, because the, you know, you know what you're worth, you know what your value is. And the fact that they let their ego and pride stand in the way of you, okay, of real love here, the real deal, a soulmate connection, I feel like it, it just made them look like a fool, okay, in your eyes. And you may not trust this person anymore. And they know it. They know if you don't talk to them, if you don't give them another chance, this is how they're going to feel. They're going to feel, you know, they could feel betrayed here, but I just feel like it's a lot of pain. They know they're going to suffer this pain for years to come, knowing that the one for them is getting away. You're going to always be the one who got away if they don't get a second chance. Dang retrograde, I'm telling you. <laughs> the retrograde just is a killer for me. Um, yeah, I feel like now this person wants real love. They want love. Okay? They may be committed to somebody else, though. But um, I feel like they turned their nose up at this, at this blessing and love before, but now they want it back. Yeah, but they whoever they chose, they, they are out in the cold from, with, they're out in the cold, and they hate it, and I feel like they're very afraid to approach you. I feel like this is your energy collective. You're strong, you're a warrior queen, this person's put you through it. I feel like you've been through it your whole life, you've had nothing but struggles. But this is a queen that knows her value. And uh, I feel like you're taking the reins of your own life. You're taking control of your life, going after a brand new beginning. You want your happiness. And they're just over here watching you, like feeling all kinds of stuck. Um, this could be spiritual jail as well. 
But I feel like, yeah, they, they're they stuck. They don't know how to approach you because they've done so many things wrong. This person lied and betrayed you, put you in a third-party situation. They could have talked about you behind your back, had in and out energy, was an opportunist, took from you and knew what they were doing. And now, in order to get you back, they have to confront all of that. Okay, they have to confront everything they did to you. They have to come and apologize for. This reminds me of like, you know, a puppy who's been caught being naughty with their tail between their legs. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, and for somebody who was working in their ego and arrogance, this is a complete ego death here. It is. It's a complete ego death. They have to confront this. Yes. Yes. I feel like they've got to come out with everything. They've got to con This is a confession here. This is a confession to an earth angel. If they want this new beginning. If they want this new beginning, they've got to confess everything that they've done to you. They've got to ask for your forgiveness. They have to come with you to you with communication and nothing but the truth. Because I feel like you're a light worker out here, collective. Whoever's watching this, whoever this is resonating with, I feel like you're an earth angel. And this person, you're being granted a new beginning here. If they want to take part in this with you, they need to confess the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. Okay, like they've got to confront this, and that breaks down this emperor's ego. That's an ego death for them, and they, that's the last thing they want to let go of here is that ego. There could be gossip out here about you, and they're hearing it. They don't like it. This gossip is making them really angry really fast. It could be coming from the person that they chose over you. I feel like that person is talking about you. But you're easy to, like, you are in the public eye here, collective, doing something beautiful and healing for the rest of the world, okay? You're helping to guide other people through the same kind of heartache. Doing something spiritual, you're an, you're an empath, healer, spiritual teacher, in the public eye, you could even be another tarot card reader. Something like that, right? You could have your own podium out here. And people are loving it and seeing it, right? You're putting yourself out there for all to see. And I feel like um, there's a lot of gossip about you. Your person hates it. They hate it. And I feel like um, there's a queen of swords energy who's very jealous, envious of you. Who may want to talk to you too? Because you've become extreme. Look, you're the catch. This Queen of Swords energy, if this is who your person is, is with and has to fight their way out of, this Queen of Swords has nothing on you. You're the Empress in the Minor Arcana. You're extremely financially independent and stable. You're growing something of your very own creatively with the help of the Divine. Um, you're being divinely led here. You're on a glow up. You're intuitive, business owner, boss. Um, you've got nine pentacles here and you're single. Okay, so put yourself where you are in this reading, right? This is a single person and this queen of swords here is with this um, egotistical emperor who's actually falling apart, right? They're just trying to look strong. Um, but yeah, put yourself where you need to be, but I feel like uh, collective, you're, you're the catch. You are the treasure here. And I feel like this Queen of Swords is watching you, watching your person, getting all mad, getting jealous, envious, possibly spreading gossip. And I feel like your person's angry about this. They don't like this. If, if this Queen of Swords is talking about you behind your back, 
this masculine energy is standing up for you now. They're fighting about you. Because you are this person's wish. Yeah, look, look at all the fighting. They're fighting about you. And I feel like there's going to be a huge fight here that's going to end things with them. Because your person is going to let them know the truth that they can't stop thinking about you. That they're being divinely led to come forward. That you're uh, connected to the divine. You're an earth angel, a star. These two are going to go at it. Because this, this queen of swords... I feel like she keeps talking about you, maybe spreading gossip or something. And this person's sick of it. You know, love kind of clicks. It, it clicks in and, uh, and that's all she wrote, man. If this, if this Queen of Swords says like one more bad thing about you, I feel like this person is just going to lash out. They're going to fight. It's going to go down. But she's upset, she's feeling betrayed because she feels like she's competing with you. And you can't really compete with a light worker. You can't really compete with an earth angel. Um, you know? But yeah, I, I feel like um, this masculine is getting sick of, of everything that she's saying about you and they're about ready to defend you against this this karmic i feel like it's going to go down this is what's going to cause the end of that of that situation so that this person can come to you and talk to you they're about to reach out once this fight goes down it's ended this person has had enough and i feel like they were just waiting for one more thing just one more thing a reason to end this so that they could come to you and that's what they're doing that's what they're doing yeah they're watching you right now watching you studying you under an assumed name some false uh, profile fake profile very heavily burdened by the journey the, the trash talk about you, the gossip, what they're seeing you, how, how, what you, they're seeing you accomplish out here because you're the treasure, the fact that you're moving forward, you could be getting away. They're really burdened by all of this. But it's about to go down with this karmic here. And when it does, I feel like that's what's going to end things. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to the collective divine? What do they want to say? What does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say to the collective? That one wants to come out. I don't know if I believe in soulmates or twin flames, but if I do, you are my twin flame. Yeah, this person knows you're an earth angel, man. They know you're a divine feminine here. Okay, so what else do they want to say? What else do they want to say? Thank you. I check on you every chance I get. Yeah, they're watching you. The truth is, I'm scared to tell you the truth. I told you they're afraid to confront all the things that they've done. People are starting to notice that I'm not my normal self. Yeah, that's all of this, right? Them having to fight off all of the opinions and stuff coming at them. Um, it took me a long time to realize that I do love you. I need my space right now. Yeah, I feel like they are in the process of um, handling this karmic situation, okay? And then once that is done, I feel like they're going to come towards you, okay? So probably, you know, my readings seem to be like about two weeks out. So I would say maybe sometime in October, this person may reach out to you. But right now... 
um, this fight has to go down between these two. Your, your person has to get the strength up to confront this karmic before they can come towards you, okay? It's important for them not to drag you into a karmic mess or not to drag it to your doorstep. So, yeah, um, they do need their space right now because they've got to take care of this situation first. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting anyway, guys. Anyway, Collective, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button, guys. Like, subscribe, join the Soul Tribe if you like this vibe. And until next time, take care of you, everyone, and peace out.